In this video, I'm going to talk about the seven symptoms and effects that I experienced in the first seven days of quitting coffee. And this will be interesting to you if you're in these first seven days to kind of see like how you're doing up and if you're feeling worse or better than other people. And it's interesting to see someone else's experience. This will also be good if you're thinking of quitting caffeine because you can kind of feel like, kind of get a feeling for how, uh, what you can expect. And if you are prepared by knowing what to expect, it will be a lot easier to follow through. And then you can get to the promised land of no drinking coffee anymore. <laughs> no, just kidding with that last one. But it's good to see what someone else's experience was. Let's get started. The first thing that I experienced was that I felt very tired, especially the first couple of days. And this is interesting because when you think about it, the reason why most people drink coffee is because they want to feel more energy. So it kind of adds this energy, but it kind of borrows it because they're not really getting any energy for in most cases. Since for example, I would drink, I would be tired in the morning if I just wake, woke up from my sleep. Then I would drink one cup of coffee, sometimes two cups of coffee, like in the morning. And then I would be getting back to normal energy levels. But when I stopped drinking those one or two cups of coffee, I very quickly noticed that the first couple of days I did, I was still tired in the morning when I woke up, but then I did not have this energy boost from the coffee. So it just got to the point where I was basically sleeping, let's say like somewhere about nine hours per night and having one or two naps. This was only the first couple of days. Um, so I was sleeping a lot in order to make sure that I wake up refreshed. And this after like seven days, I started waking up quite refreshed. Second thing that I noticed also has to do with sleep. I noticed that my sleep was much, much deeper and my dreams, especially um, basically in the morning time, like just before you wake up, they were much more vivid. And this is pretty normal because caffeine has an effect on your adenosine receptors, which means, and it has a half-life of five, five hours, which means that if you have, let's say four cups of coffee uh, before 12, then by the end of the afternoon, you still have two cups of coffee in your blood. And by the end of the day, by 10, you still have one cup of coffee in your blood. And then in the middle of the night, you still have half a cup of coffee in your blood. So basically your blood never gets without caffeine. So all the time, uh, caffeine molecules start having an effect on your brain by kind of waking you up a little bit. So you never get to experience very restful sleep. And I know that Matthew Walker, he's the big sleep uh, research guy. He also says that caffeine, in his opinion, is one of the worst things you can do for your sleep. Well, just like with alcohol, he also said. Um, so, and, and in my experience, this was true because my, I, I woke up, now the first couple of days I was still tired, especially in the morning, especially since I couldn't drink, you know, this coffee to get more energy. But after uh, a week or so, I started feeling very refreshed in the morning and it would be a lot easier to, I would just, you know, feel better when I wake up. The third thing that I experienced was that it was difficult for me to actually create sentences to speak them. This was only the first one, two, three days. It just felt like my mind wasn't completely working the way it should work. And whenever I tried to, normally I'm, I'm not that bad with having conversations and creating, and see now what's happening <laughs> while I'm talking about this. Usually it's not that difficult for me to create sentences that use the word that I want to use to convey the meaning that I want to use. But after not after quitting coffee, that was very difficult for me and conversations were quite difficult. The fourth thing that I experienced was that it was difficult to concentrate. And this was interesting because it's not like usually I'm, uh, I'm not bad at concentrating, usually also not very good, it seems to me. Uh, but when I quit drinking coffee, it was just very difficult to kind of push myself to, to work on something. And when I'd be doing something at a certain point, it would be like, you know, just the light turned out and I would just be staring at the screen trying to do something. So it was difficult to concentrate. It was not that with caffeine, sometimes you're very much pushed to search for distractions, but I didn't have that. I was just kind of like zombieing and looking at the screen. And this was also an interesting effect. This went away after a couple of days, it got better already. And after like a week or 10 days, it started getting back to normal and sometimes even better. Fifth thing that I experienced, which I kind of was not really expecting was that I started becoming very hungry, like my appetite became a lot bigger um, and I started having specific cravings. And I see this as a good thing for me because uh, I was quite skinny before and um, it, I just needed to eat more basically. And I noticed that when I was drinking coffee in the morning, especially while having breakfast, 
that I would not really want to have breakfast because kind of like this having this breakfast and the coffee together in your stomach was kind of mixing and everything. So if I would drink a cup of coffee before breakfast, I would kind of not want to eat it anymore. And if I would drink it with breakfast, it also would not be the best thing. But after I quit drinking coffee, I started really thinking like at a specific point, like, oh, now I really want a glass of orange juice. Or after I worked out, after a couple of days of quitting, I was like, I came back and I was like, I really want a large bowl of rice together with some vegetables and a little bit of meat. And these were things that before I, I wasn't too much in tune with my body, it felt like, and quitting caffeine made it much more easy for me to understand what my body was telling me, like, oh, you now want to eat this, you now want to drink something, you now want to do this. And this was, um, this was very interesting. Sixth thing that I experienced was that I was super incredibly calm. It's like, you, whatever would happen, I would just, like, okay, almost. And this was only the first couple of days. Uh, afterwards, it got better. Um, but this was just very nice. It's just one of the calmest days, if I think about the last half year, because it was just very difficult to get excited about something. But it also meant that you uh, that you're not really worried about anything because you're just so so calm. And this was very nice. And after seven to ten days. It started getting back to normal and I actually started having a lot of these more calm moments and whenever you would need to be sort of excited about something that would still be be working but the first couple of days were so incredibly calm and the seventh uh, thing that i experienced was that i started having slight headaches now I, i'm not the type of person to get bad headaches because even after a night of drinking usually i might have a little bit of headache or no headache at all but with caffeine, I had a slight headache. So I can imagine that for people that either drink more caffeine or are more prone to uh, to headaches, I have it a little bit worse. But what I also think that might have helped was the fact that I drank a lot of orange juice to make sure, and a lot of fruit in general, while I was quitting to make sure that I was getting rehydrated and also that I was getting plenty of uh, electrolytes and minerals because those ensured that I had plenty of blood flow to my brain. If I recall, I might be wrong here, uh, but this is the, the, the thing that I remember about that, which helped me not feel headaches very badly. And they went away after like seven to 10 days. If you like this video, then check out this video here where I talk about the benefits I experienced after not drinking coffee for a hundred days.